Do you believe in the obesity epidemic? Overweight and physical inactivity are responsible for more than 300,000 premature deaths annually in the United States, second only to tobacco-related deaths. Obesity is an epidemic and should be taken as seriously as any infectious disease epidemic, says Jeffrey P. Coplin, director of the CDC, and one of the authors of the JAMA paper. Obesity and overweight are linked to the nation's number one killer, heart disease, as well as diabetes and other chronic conditions. According to surveys conducted in 1977-78 and 1994-96, reported daily caloric intakes increased from 2,239 kcal to 2,455 kcal calories in men and from 1,534 kcal to 1,646 kcal in women. Eating more frequently is encouraged by countless environmental changes, more food and higher calorie foods, the growth of the fast food industry the increase in the number and marketing of snacks, increased time to socialize, and a habit of socialize with food and drink. At the same time, there are fewer opportunities in daily life to burn calories, children watch more television every day, many schools have eliminated or reduced physical education, many neighborhoods lack sidewalks to walk safely, the workplace has become increasingly automated, household chars are assisted by labor-saving machinery, and walking and cycling have been replaced by car travel for all but the shortest distances. According to Coplin, the American lifestyle of convenience and inactivity has had a devastating impact on every segment of society, especially children. Research shows that 60% of overweight children ages 5 to 10 already have at least one risk factor for heart disease, including high prolipidemia and high blood pressure or insulin levels. According to research from the CDC published in the October 13, 1999 issue of JAMA, more than two-thirds of American adults are trying to lose weight or not gain weight. But many do not follow guidelines that recommend a combination of fewer calories and more physical activity. The Surgeon General's 1996 report on physical activity and health shows that more than 60% of adults do not participate in the recommended 30 minutes per day of moderate physical activity most days of the week. The report stresses that physical activity does not have to be strenuous to achieve health benefits. On October 27, JAMA features two articles and an editorial on obesity by CDC authors. The spread of obesity in the United States, do healthcare professionals advise obese patients to lose weight? And an editorial, caloric imbalance and public health policy. So what would be the solution to all this? Well, it has already been mentioned in this explanation. The solution would be to drastically eliminate all junk foods and start getting used to healthy physical activity, especially for very young children. One thing that is never explained is that parents' habits fall on their children, which will affect their children and future generations. It is simply a question of paradigm. The crucial problem is that if people are used to such a lifestyle, they will not be able to teach a healthier lifestyle unless they first learn it. Most people come home after a stressful day at work, looking forward to indulging themselves with dopamine sources to offset the stress. All the official statistics show that 99% of sports people who have been practicing sports for 20 years cannot completely eliminate junk foods. So the question that arises is, could it sedentary people who have been used to living like that for 30 years you will be able to do it? Unfortunately the answer is absolutely no. Need help. Support, sometimes psychological. By psychological, I don't necessarily mean professionals in psychology, but simply a circle of peers to meet and do the same things. The problem is not eliminating junk foods or drinks, because the problem in the end is not the food that we ingest, but the satisfying source of dopamine it gives we. Unless you're really strong at eliminating those foods long term, after a maximum of a few months you will resume eating that crap, always coming back to the usual vicious circle. Habits are difficult to change, but since we understand how the mind works, you should fool it with foods that give you the same feeling of fulfillment. You need something fast, practical and digestible which allows you to quickly attack the mind as soon as you come home, so as not to risk falling back. I propose something really effective that contains this many fundamental principles that is helping more and more people. It is a truly effective supplement that is right for you and those who plan to lose weight. There are tons of very good supplements out there that you could try, but since there are tons of them, you risk getting confused. I want to make things easier for you and offer you something immediately at your fingertips, with so many testimonies that you can hear with your ears and see with your eyes. I want to clarify something right away. This is not about magic pills or miracle methods. Miraculous methods have never existed and whoever proposes them to you is a charlatan with the intent of emptying your wallet. In any case you will have to put the necessary effort into a healthy lifestyle based on sport and nutrition, 
I made other videos in this channel where I give you other tips. I propose you Okinawa flat belly tonic. In order not to spoil the surprise, I invite you to go to the link in the description to access the product and see all the features in detail. Also subscribe to the channel and activate notifications by clicking on the bell to stay up to date.